Welcome to Western Perspective, I'm Madeleine Lombardi. Nala Court CEO Mervyn Eade spoke with WAMN News following the Invasion Day rally on January 26 about calling for treaty. The Nala Court CEO says the constitutional voice to Parliament does not represent First Nation people, wider communities within Australia and society in general, which is why they're calling for treaty. Yes, um, this, week, this, this week as we have seen, with the invasion, invasion day ceremonies right across the country from black Australia, uh, as non-Indigenous call it Australia Day, um, we call it Invasion Day. Our people, uh, th our people's theme this year has been no to constitutional voice. Um, the constitutional voice does not represent us and doesn't represent the, the people of our communities and, and, and the wider Australia, Aboriginal communities and society in general. Um, we were never ever consulted in a proper matter, manner. Our young people would not even understand what the constitutional uh, voice means to them. Uh, what our people are calling out for, as the rallies would, uh, would have seen, shown yeah, very clearly, um, um, that we are calling out for a treaty. We are calling out for tre a treaty and truth telling. This country, this country's um, ignorance has ignored our many cries for for over 100 years that we are we are calling out for a treaty, but the Australian government has has not entertained treaty. They want to um, give us a voice in 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 Parliament, but uh, you know a, rep a, um, a voice of their representation of Aboriginal people is not the voice of representation of our wider and whole. Aboriginal communities and society and uh, a national a national voice is not a national voice because it represents um, th th those and picked from government and what our, what our people are calling out for is treaty um, one of the only countries in the world that has been invaded and no treaty done with uh, done with us at all is, is Australia we are calling out for treaty and truth telling and that's a clear message that has been um, um, echoed through, through, throughout um, Invasion Day rallies right across the country. Can Australia afford a treaty? Australia needs to afford a, a treaty. They're can the, they afford one? Well, the 12th well, most certainly can afford a treaty. The 12th richest economy in the world. Yes, they can afford a treaty with the, with the sovereign first peoples. Um, let's not get away. Let's be real and let's talk truth-telling. Truth uh, Australia um, is uh, just over 230 year um, history. We're talking about a people that have been here for 80,000 plus years, and you know, and we had we had we have a constitution that they don't even recognise within our law and culture. Um, the Australian government refused to even recognise or acknowledge that um, the oldest culture and the oldest people in the world is us. But we do have a constitution of law and culture, and you know, um, and that was that, that 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 was the way of our people and our customs for eighty thousand plus years as the oldest people and culture in the world. What they're selling, what they what they what what is being sold, is sold by uh, a group of elites, elites and picked elites from government and picked elite Aboriginal people um, to sell it for government. Uh, but you know. Um, we have not been. We 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 are, we are not in the picture. This has been dictated upon us. If you are in the picture, at least right, at least actually like grassroots uh, people in the picture. How would it look like? How would the voice to parliament actually look like? Well, you know, um, um, uh, Michael Mansell says it well from Tasmania. He says it well. Have it, have enshrined in parliament two representatives, senators from every state two representative uh, Aboriginal senators from every state, so it's enshrined. Because so at the moment... So you, what don't need, so you don't need a third chamber, but instead ensure that there are Indigenous uh, people actually in Parliament from each state, a bare minimum. Absolutely, and, 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 and from what Michael Mansell has laid out, yes. And, and you know, that, that could be a balance of a vote against us or a vote for us, from our own people to say yes, this is right, or no, this is wrong. But what they're offering us is a voice to is a voice to Parliament, where um, um, it doesn't have to become binding. 
It doesn't have to become, you know, legally binding or law implemented through the voice. They could just ignore the voice. It's, it's, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll say it for what it really is. Okay. It's an egg with no yolk. The voice is an egg with no yolk. Um, so therefore you're calling for a treaty. How would a treaty that's actually beneficial to your people look like? A treaty, a, a, a treaty beneficial to our people would look like this. You know, um, personally what I say is 5% uh, or 10% of all GDP um, to get, get our people out of the impover impoverishment and the, as the poorest people in the country, as, as we all know, and to give us equality of life equality as as equals because at the moment um you know the 12th richest economy in the world and yet the sovereign sovereign people of this country are the poorest people in our own country how can that be when you know the mining is booming all around us and everyone's growing the mining every everyone's booming but there's no taxes or no nothing given back to our people what they have given us is native title Native title has taken away more than it has given to our people. And what I see in this constitutional voice and being enshrined in the constitution is power and control over the people within the Australian constitution. But so they've taken our land uh, with native title and with constitution, they will, ins uh, they will take away uh, our rights as sovereign people and our independence uh, away from their constitution and they want us binded to their constitution so they will have power and control over the people. But there's already a lot of debate on the voice itself, whether it should or shouldn't. Uh, so what's, what's the possibility of actually even having consideration of a treaty, given that there's already so much fight on the voice itself? Yeah, well, there's so much fight and there's no bipartisan agreement uh, with the voice as I mean, we... Do, do, you, do you afraid that it's going to get stuck, that we're not going to get anywhere at all, either with the, either with the voice or calls for treaty, based on what you see now? Well, it, it, it will get stuck. It will get stuck. Um, 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 wider society will, will wake up to it and say, the Aboriginal people don't want it, so why should we vote for it? You know, and the truth is, the Aboriginal people do not want it. We want a treaty. We want a treaty, um, a, a sovereign treaty of the sovereign peoples of this country. We want a treaty, but we want a treaty on on our terms and conditions. We want to be a part of the um, uh, the treaty um, um, agreement. We want to be uh, enshrined, our, 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 our voice enshrined in a treaty agreement. And, you know, an agreement, an agreement made where we are also um, leading it, leading the agreement. And that was Mervyn Eads speaking about the voice to parliament. Now here is Leo Puglisi with what's coming up next on Six News Tonight. Thanks, guys. On Six News, multiple people dead as flash fighting hits Auckland, Israel to boost their military forces after several attacks. And David Honey vows to fight on in the WA Liberal Party leadership spill. Watch live right now on our YouTube channel and our website, sixnewsau.com. And that's all from Western Perspective this weekend. We'll be back with you again next Sunday. Until then, Ivan and Melly, it's back to you. Thanks, Maddie. And that's our weekly news and current affairs. We have the latest news on our website, wamnnews.com.au. Don't forget to subscribe to the WAMN Extra News Club so we can continue our work in the community. Full details on wamnnews.com.au forward slash news forward slash extra. From Melly and myself, wish you good health, good night. See you next Sunday. Thanks for watching.